There's a really interesting new report from CNN's Gabby Orr and Steve Contorno about Donald Trump's growing fury, quite frankly, that Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, known to some in the pandemic era as Ron Death Santis, you may remember that. Uh, Trump's furious that DeSantis is increasingly popular and increasingly being talked about as an alternative to Donald Trump for 2022. Now, you might recall that back in July at CPAC, they did a straw poll. They do these at all CPACs. And Donald Trump easily won that 2024 straw poll. He uh, Trump had 70 percent of the vote. The other the only other notable participant was Ron DeSantis with 21 percent of that straw poll vote. And throughout the pandemic, when Trump was president and Ron DeSantis ignored every covid guideline, opened the state, I think it was to WWE wrestling and UFC fights very early. Later, DeSantis said cruise ships, if you want to leave from Florida, you can't require vaccines. Trump loved it. Trump was all about Ron DeSantis and Trumpists were all about Ron DeSantis. He's great. He's the best. How terrific pro business. He's been doing great things. Okay, but now as Ron DeSantis has become more popular and is being seen increasingly almost like a more competent version of Donald Trump, all of Trump's terrible ideas, but more competence to actually get them done. Trump is apparently furious. And DeSantis also seems to be realizing, hey, I might be up against Trump in 2024. I need to start distancing as well. Let's take a look at the CNN report about this, and it is very, very interesting, which says people close to both men first noticed the palpable shift in Trump's posture towards DeSantis earlier this year as enthusiasm for the Florida governor swelled among donors and Republican operatives who praised his laissez faire response to the covid pandemic. The more DeSantis's popularity soared, the more obsessed Trump became with receiving credit for his political celebrity. In April, Trump told Fox News DeSantis would certainly be under consideration for VP if he were to launch a campaign in 2024. By 20 by October, Trump was demanding he publicly rule out a White House bid of his own. So as as recently as last month, Trump was saying DeSantis needs to come out and say I won't run. And of course, DeSantis hasn't done that because DeSantis might well be thinking of running. It's not that Trump is complaining about Ron, but he likes Ron to he likes to remind Ron and others that he made him said a person close to Trump who added Trump has been telling people around him that DeSantis could show more gratitude. A statement to CNN from Trump spokesman Taylor Budowich appeared to confirm Trump's obsession with receiving credit for DeSantis' success. Budowich said the former president's 2020 victory in Florida paved the way for Republicans, including Ron DeSantis, to sweep in 2022 and suggested Trump catapulted DeSantis into the governor's mansion with his endorsement. Though the two remain in regular contact, Trump is increasingly irritated at DeSantis's refusal to publicly dismiss a 2024 bit of his own if the former president decides to run. Two people close to the situation said DeSantis has privately assured Trump he has no intention of challenging him, but they noted Trump won't be fully satisfied until he says so publicly. Um, Though DeSantis previously dismissed 2024 chatter as nonsense, he has avoided taking the unequivocal public bow vow not to challenge Trump. He has filed to run for reelection in 2022. The best case scenario for the left is that Trump goes full metal jacket against Ron DeSantis. DeSantis then retaliates and it becomes a huge nightmare and it helps Republicans implode. Now, I am the first to admit the country is in serious trouble when a governor with the deaths of thousands, tens of thousands of innocent Americans from covid uh, on his hands is seeing his popularity take off. That bodes really poorly for the United States of America. But you just saw 70 million people vote for a doofus imbecile who killed hundreds of thousands with his sheer incompetence in mishandling the pandemic. So we've been in serious trouble for a while now. They seem to want to some degree something like DeSantis. There's a very different direction that the Republican electorate could be going, which is to say we need a different type of Republican. We need like Mitt Romney. We need Liz Cheney, who, by the way, Liz Cheney voted more than 90 percent of the time with Trump's position. So it's not like Liz Cheney is some big victory. Right. But it would be different for Republicans to say the Trump thing didn't work and we're not going to keep going with it. They seem to want a crazy Trump like figure 
that would be more able to do the things that Donald Trump wanted to do but wasn't able to do. And unfortunately, that very well could be Ron DeSantis. Very, very scary stuff because the left is so poorly positioned going into 22, like we talked about at the top of the show. We're kind of relegated to this very lame position of having to hope that they fight against themselves. And DeSantis versus Trump could be a really great thing.